Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to, for me anyway, my last video on the Cooper for now. It's not gone, but it's for now. Um, obviously if you've followed the whole series the way through, it's been for a bit of a journey, rust wise. Um, I've shown you bits and pieces, I've done bits and pieces off camera, but you've basically seen it's had a full sill overhaul, inner sill repairs, floor repairs, rush treatment anywhere that I can find on the floors. And yeah, it's been painted and back together. Um, off camera, there's been a few stickers removed off the car. You probably see some missing off the bonnet stripes. Uh, window surrounds have gone into the chrome strip round. There's a few bits and pieces done. Um, James has a lot of plans for the car. So moving forward, the car's gonna get some new, new high lows and cones and bits and pieces, I think. Um, I know for a fact it's definitely in high lows. A lot of people commented it's sitting really high at the back. That's because it doesn't have any high lows at all at the back. It's standard, new cones, everything. Um, had a subframe overhaul a few years ago. Uh, engine wise needs to get a good service, a bit of a spruce up, a bit of a tidy up. It's got two front tyres to go on it, new arches, new decals, loads of stuff. Um, Chris and James have been stockpiling bits and bobs. But yeah, this is my last last video of the old girl and it's time to get it clean because if you can see it's got a nice sheen of dust over it. Um, I've also been working on other things and it, it just it's a big weeding channel anyway so it just it just gets covered in all sorts. But I'm not going to go mad, I'm going to show you the products you use and just get on with it really. Um, I thought I'd bring you along with the ride. She's getting clean, she's she's going to go back and be enjoyed and be back on the road and MOT'd very soon. So yeah, it's been fun, I've learned a lot. Um, I've done seals and stuff before in many cars. Uh, I think in that week that I did the last seal on that car, I did the seal on the budget club one as well. So I did two seals within like three days of each other. Um, so yeah, I'm not shy to do things like that anymore. Uh, people have commented on the doors. The doors they know about, they know it's going to need to be sorted. It's probably a winter job, I think. Uh, def definitely the driver's one needs doing first. It's 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 quite bad, but it's not stopping the car from being used. Um, I've sort of stopped it in its tracks for now, just so they can use it and enjoy it. But other than that, it is what it is. Can't do a lot about it right now. Um, the car's going to enjoy it for the rest of what summer we have. And yeah, it's onwards and upwards. Loads of projects, loads of things to crack on with, job wise and other cars and other not just minis and things like that coming to the channel. So yeah, it's been really fun, really enjoyed it. So without further ado, let's get the hose pipe out, let's get it clean, let's get all this dust and dirt off her and then start making her look pretty. So I've already done a video of my mini sidewalk showing sort of the products I use. It does chop and change, I don't stay loyal to a, to a brand or anything like that. I use what I think feel best, I try new things. Um, I think there's no point in getting stuck on one brand in my eyes. So two buckets, both with grids in, two bucket method, one with soap in, one with plain water. So basically dip in with the soap, wash the car, rinse with the plain water. I use the shampoo and conditioner from Autoglim. Again, not sponsored in any way, but that's just almost always been my go-to stuff. Um, simple noodle mitt, so that goes in there, soaks up, nice warm water. And yeah, basically the best way to try and get the dirt off your car and not keep putting it back on is the two bucket method. I tend to use it all the time, unless it's things like my daily car, don't really worry about that. But definitely with a classic to try to keep the scratches to a minimum. Because um, basically all you're doing is you're dipping in constantly the same bucket and just moving the dirt around constantly over the car. So I definitely would recommend this method. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over the car, get all the dirt off, rinse it. Then we're gonna go over with um, some, basically an auto and polish as well. So it's a super resin polish. Then we're gonna go over it with some aqua wax to protect it and probably get in, get involved with the, the chrome a little bit with some cleaner. But other than that, we're not going to go mad mad with it because I know Chris and James got a lot of plans for it, but for me, I just want to see it, see it clean. So yeah, been looking forward to this moment. So let's get on with it.
Right, so that's her clean. Um, I'm going to go over some areas of the paint that need a bit more of a cut and buff with some polish, really. And yeah, I'm trying to get some wax on it after that. And go from there. So, what I'll do is I'm going to polish her off camera because polishing takes a while and I don't want to make this video an hour long. And then I'll bring you guys back in when I'm doing a bit of um, waxing and a bit of detailing, really. But I, like I said, I'm not going to go too mad because I know they've got a lot of plans for her and it's not for me to do that. So, I just want to clean her up, get the workshop dust off her. And yeah, she looks stunning already, really, really nice. Yeah, but almost a Apart from the wheels, it's getting quite OEM looking now, some of the stickers are being moved, so it's really, really stunning. Absolutely lovely looking Mini. Really, really is. Right guys, so off camera, some Autoglim Super Resin Polish. Oh, look at that. So, gone over the whole car, it's got a nice sort of touch to it now. It's, it was a bit scratchy before, to say the least. But yeah, loads, loads nicer. So you'll notice there's a little badge missing off there now. And off there, the whole back of the car is very sort of how it was, I guess. The only thing it's missing is the 1.3 there, which they have got. I'm going to put back on. But yeah, get in there. So the roof's come out really nice. Nice and vibrant again, and lovely shine on the paintwork. So next is protect all that. So I'm going to get the wax out and go from there. But really happy with it so far. Looks a million dollars compared to how it did just then. But that's taken a good hour of polishing, <laughs> hence why I didn't film doing it. But that's the polish I've used. Again, not sponsored in any way by Horsey Glim. I just enjoy using their products. I find them re the results great. And they don't cost the earth. So look at that racing green. And the red badge pops loads now. So, right, let's get the wax out. Right, so keeping with the theme, <laughs> again, I just really enjoy using their products. Um, rapid aqua wax from also Glim is great. I always use this as a quick detailer, so when it shows, um, stop up on the wax. But one thing James always says is, Violet always looks so clean. That's why. But saying that, like I say, I don't stick to a brand at all. This is just me showing you some of the products I use. I chop, chop and change all the time. Um, really when the mood takes it, or what application or what car I'm cleaning. So I also use the Meguiar's water lift wash and wax. So, with the estate especially, I don't like getting that car really wet, it does leak, it's an old car, all the stores are very old. Um, so as much as I don't want to get that wet, I don't soak it in water at all, unless it's out in the rain or driving of course. But um, yeah, it's a water with ocean wax by Maguire's, it's really, really good. Um, I do believe, if I'm not, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think also we're going to make a similar version out, there's plenty of other products out there. Um, so we're going to hit the car now with this, go over a bit of the chrome, and yeah, I think we call it that. She's looking really, really nice. I'm happy now. Um, almost felt a bit bad about covering in dust. And every time I thought, oh, I'm going to wash her, you know, just getting covered again. Um, I've got no way of covering her up in, at the moment. So, yeah, let's get her looking really clean, protected. That's the main thing. She'll bead up nicely if the water hits her now. And it'll keep the dirt off her. And that's the main thing. So, if you're on a white roof, I've noticed the dirt's really ingressed into the paint. Um, it's just one of those things. It's a flat surface. It's like painting the um, budget club and the flat surface is where the dust is laid, flat surface is where all the dirt's gonna lay. So it's the exact same thing again, but if we can repel the water away from it all, products like this definitely help. Um, they do, a, obviously they do a, I don't know what it's called, ultimate wax as well, which is when you buff on with a little applicator. Um, but this I find really good, it's really easy to do. You literally need a cloth, and actually this cloth came in a kit, you normally buy it as a clip, so this is an auto clean cloth. We're gonna hit it with the auto clean wax now. So without further ado, let's just get on with this, get it looking good and protected. And yeah, I'll be I'll be happy. Right, guys, that is us done. So let's go for a nice little walk around, starting at the front. So there is minor scratches across the car, which obviously this camera's not picking up very well. But, you know, she's not a new car. She's come up really nice. I'm, I'm quite impressed with her. Um, my next job is just off camera, I'm gonna go over the chrome. Um, I use the, basically the Meguiar's metal polish. That's my best one I found. Um, detail the wheels a little bit. But yeah, really nice shine throughout. It's a shame there's a few little dents in the roof, but the roof's come up quite nice. Um, on plate lamp. Now the colours have been washed and polished properly. They, they blended really nice. And it looks really 
quite uniform. Obviously under the car, we've done all the rust work, that's all solid. The interior is hoovered out and clean. And a bit of a detail in there. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So I think a few of these stickers are getting removed as well. But obviously, you do what you like to your car. This is the whole point of owning a Mini. So inside, um, obviously a nice clean interior, John Cooper plaque. All the steering wheels all tidy. Dash has been wiped down. And yeah, the rear seats are being reinstated as well. And I'm really happy with it. It's been a pleasure to work on. Right guys, that is me signing out. So right or wrong, that's how I basically, it's not It's not taking me long, it's taking me a little few hours to get the car to this point. Um, I start with my oil scrim shampoo and conditioner. Then I go over with the super resin wax. Then the auto glim aqua wax to protect it on top. You can go mad. Um, really this car could do with a good clay bar to get some of the surface imperfections out and stuff like that. But like I said, you know, it's it's one of them. It's The car's gonna now sit for a little while longer. It's gonna get his suspension parts done. It's gonna get a bit dusty again. And it's gonna get another wash and a detail again. So I have no doubt that Chris and James will go after this car. Um, it's, you know, it's been re really well looked after up to this point for their ownership. But once again, thank you for everyone that has tuned in on this car. It's not the last thing. James will be carrying on with the finishing touches to get this car through over the hurdle and into its MOT and done. Um, and then we plan to do a full shakedown drive of it, show you the power it's got, show you how it puts down its power, um, and a proper sort of go around the car. So it's not the end of it. So, you know, people have really enjoyed this, this series, which I hope there's a few. Um, it's, 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 you know, a long way done. So I'm happy with what I've achieved with it. Um, on to the next one. So thank you very much once again for everyone that has tuned in and watched and left some really positive comments. Um, it is a genuine John Cooper Mini. Uh, so it left the factory, went straight to John Cooper had a conversion and then it's gone from then on from the previous owner track day get a lot it's gone from the even bar 1380 so it's, it's, it truly is a special little car it really is um and i know it's very well cherished so like i mentioned earlier on in the video there is future plans for the car the arches are changing um of people who have gone to the wheel stick out a little bit far and they they do a little bit i guess um so they're getting changed i think got wooden picket ones or something going on it so they would look really nice and yeah there's loads of little bits and pieces that the car still needs so Thank you once again for tuning in. If you have any comments, please drop them below. If you've enjoyed this build, please comment below as well. Um, there's plenty more coming. So stay tuned for the next one, guys. Subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up because it really helps us out. And we'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe.